Snatch Your Heads, Ailish here, and today I have with me the My Rider GB3. If you are a subscriber to the channel, you will have seen me reviewing the flagship My Rider, the My Rider one, not that long ago. And I actually teased this bad boy and I said, if you wanted to know more about it, then to let me know down in the comments. And that you did. So today I'm here to answer your calls and spill the beans on this model, the GB3. And also, uh, just a little spoiler alert, this is the answer to all your prayers if you are a multi-modal commuter and I'm going to tell you exactly why so stay tuned but before we go any further if you are not subscribed to the channel and you are into all the latest e-ride news and reviews well we have got you covered because we are posting fresh content every single week so make sure to hit that subscribe button let's get into it so what's new with the GB3? Well, first of all, my rider have been in the market now for about four years. And in that time, they've had that first model, the Model 1, and they've been amazing at listening to your feedback and all the customers' opinions, and have been reiterating on that flagship model. I think they're on the third generation now for the Model 1. Well, this is all of that R&D over the past four years into a brand new setup. So the main differences with this one is, firstly, this is not a single speed, this has three gears. You also have, instead of a chain, you get a Kevlar belt drive. You've also got slightly wider handlebars compared to the MyRider one as well, which means you just have that little bit more stability, just 20 millimeters wider. You've also got hydraulic brakes. You've got a color LCD display and a much comfier Cell Royale saddle. So just a few little but important upgrades there, but let's take a closer look at what this bike has to offer in the fullest. The GB3 is kitted out with a 250 watt rear hub motor with a max output of 40 newton meters of torque. The frame is aircraft grade magnesium alloy, which makes it lightweight and corrosion resistant and has a rear spring dampener fitted to soak up all that unwanted impact. The 252 watt hour removable Samsung battery can deliver up to 45 miles of range in one charge. And this is all carried on 16 inch wheels at a total weight of 19.4 kilograms. All of this for the total price of £2,495. This bike, as I said earlier, is the answer to your prayers if you are that multimodal commuter. And the first big reason as to why is because it folds up so small and so easily. And I'm actually going to give you a demonstration. But the really great thing about this is there is a really neat little feature in terms of keeping the bike together when you're pushing it along. And that is this little magnetic sort of cup here. So the magnets come together and if there's any kind of bumps that you roll over where the magnet might suddenly have to jar or split, this little cup design here keeps the folded bike together so that it doesn't sort of spring over when you're halfway walking along the street, which is great. So you know your bike is secure. Looks wise, I think the GB3 looks really good, don't you? Let me know down in the comments. What do you think? Currently at the moment, it only comes as silver. It looks fantastic in the metal. I love the contrast with the black and the silver and the little pops of red there as well. I do feel like there's this crossover between the sort of the high tech comfort and style of the Go Cycle blended with the sort of novel compact monkey bike Fido Q1. Is anybody seeing that as well? Anybody? Yeah, no, there's definitely something there. And in fact, the Fido Q1 is a whole bike in itself, which you need to check out. It's kind of bike slash scooter. If you want to check out that video, then click the link right here because Moja goes all the way into the depths of what that thing is. Right, let's go for a ride. What is this bike like to ride? Well, well, this is where things get really interesting because it is very powerful. Although this is very small, it is very mighty. It's got a 250 watt motor, but it really does punch when you are getting off at the lights. And that is all because of the throttle assist. So this little throttle here only works when you are pedaling, which makes it legal. If you have a throttle that you can use without pedaling, that is illegal in the UK. It is legal in the US, just FYI. I'm fair, I'm fair. Yeah, I'm fair, I'm fair. I'm fair. I'm fair. Because this has a cadence sensor, it has a slight delay when you start pedaling to get that assist, but that little throttle button really does just make you go at the lights when you need it to. And I've been having a lot of fun with this bike. It's also fantastic when you're going up hills as well. It's actually, I think, I would say, the most powerful e-bike in the world that is a legal 250 watt motor. Ow. 
yeah. Just one thing to note, because this has 16 inch wheels, it does mean that the handling of this bike is very different to a larger wheeled cycle. So that is something that you will need to get used to. If you're used to riding foldable bikes like this with the smaller wheels, you'll be absolutely fine. The slight elongation of the handlebars does give you a lot more control um, compared to maybe the My Rider 1, which can feel a little bit jiggly jaggly sometimes but overall uh, it's just something that you need to bear in mind and get used to but look i'm talking with one hand right now very comfortably Ooh, you're hard as i mentioned earlier the brakes on this are hydraulic which means they are far more responsive and sharper so when you need to make that emergency stop those brakes are going to respond i'm going to show you right now are you ready i'm going to pull hard <laughs> Why does this bike feel like an upgrade compared to the MyRider 1? Well, first of all, it is very, very comfortable. That Cell Royale seat really does just soak up all the bumps that you get when you're riding along to make it a very cushy ride. That rear suspension just soaks it all up as well, which you do have on the MyRider 1, but combined, that is awesome. And just a little added feature as well is the color LCD display, which is really, really easy to read. It's got that intelligent display. You've got the colors, you've got the voltage on there. It's even got a thermostat. So if you don't know whether you need a jack or not, just head to your bike and it'll tell you what you need. It's like I have ESPN or something. And the most obvious one, this has three gears. This is a first for my rider. I'm going to just quickly talk you through watch each of them watch each what each of them are for so gear one is for when you're climbing hills or if you're pedaling without assistance that's right this bike with gears means that you can pedal without using any electric assistance so the range is technically infinite the second gear is for when you are just doing your sort of average cycling so that is actually a really similar setup to uh, the my rider one if you're familiar with that one it's single speed gear two is the same as the single speed my rider one and gear number three is when you are getting to 15.5 miles per hour you are actually surpassing that it's for that speedier riding changing gears is really easy it's all done up top here on this shifter and what's really nice is if you forget to shift down when you get to traffic and you get to a standstill you can actually change the gears whilst not pedaling which is a really really big help when you want to get off of the traffic lights in the optimum gearage. Is that a word? If you like the look of the MyRider GB3 or the single speed option which I review in this video, well, I've got good news for you because both are available to purchase on our store at electroheads.com. I've even got a special discount code for you to use to get £50 off. Just type in ALISH50 when you go to checkout to save yourself some cash. The GB3 has a really interesting gear system. It has what is called planetary gears. Now you have two kinds of gearings with bikes usually. You've got your classic derailleur and then you've got this one here which is your planetary hub gears and it's all situated inside the crank. The thing with the classic derailleur system is the fact that there are components there that are quite susceptible to wear and tear whereas with the planetary gear systems... Because you make me climb oh. What was that? With this here, with the planetary gear system, there is firstly a lot more ability to create more torque and also because there is a lot more uh, surface area, there's more contact, which means that you are putting less strain on the components, which means that it's more resistant to damage. Also, a great benefit about the system is the fact that it's all contained. So not only does it look neater, but also it's really low maintenance. My rider's service interval is 500 miles, whereby they recommend changing the oil in the gearbox. And and that is available at all the my rider dealer network stations what is really great about this bike is also the fact that this caters to a range of heights thanks to its telescopic telescopic adjustments which is great so if you're a smaller or taller person this is a bike for you so it's great for the family because it can be one for the parents for the kids to ride and uh, it's just a really great piece of kit overall i've been really really impressed with this i've actually been recommending this to quite a few mates of mine who live in the city who are looking for a foldable to get them about town it's a much cheaper option compared to the 5k go cycle that's available at the moment uh, it really does compete with that very very well it is still two and a half thousand pounds which yes is a lot of money but i think if you are able just to spend that little bit more you really are getting quality and value for money here and that aftercare with my rider are just just fantastic they have so many stores and retailers and centers available to look after your bike and you know that you've always got somebody on hand to look out for you if anything should go wrong so very, very important. But what do you think? Let me know down in the comments. Is this a bike that you fancy hitting up and riding? Because you are able to ride this 
anywhere all over the country there are loads of different stores that you can go to so let me know what you think uh, yeah I've been super impressed I'm recommending it to friends and uh, I'm recommending it to you guys I'll see you soon bye